Hello and welcome. This is Marius from Please Fix and today I'm going to show you how you can create this amazing Touch Mahal presentation easily in just like 10, 15 minutes. You can also do this for like other big buildings where you have like an easy background. Um, I also did this in the past with this like Switzerland presentation, if you remember correctly, where I had Selmat and it just moves. Um, yeah, if you like this video, please give it a share, give it a like, give it a comment. YouTube always loves comments and helps it to push it up in the algorithm. And also I will include this file that I show in this YouTube video for free to download via the link below. So let's get started. First up, we want to insert a picture of, of the Taj Mahal. Um, in this case, I am using a picture from Unsplash that you can also find via the link in the bio below. And first, we want to get rid of the background. How are we going to do this? So in this case, I'm going to picture format and then click on remove background. You will see PowerPoint is not doing the best job at this and you have to help it a little bit. So what I'm going to do to help it a little bit is mark areas to keep and then just start working its way to all the areas I want to keep. In this case, I only want to remove the blue background and just keep the the other stuff in front. So basically all the building, the whole park, the water. And as you can see, it struggles a little bit. So I can also go back and just remove some areas. And with time, it will get a little bit better at this. The more you work your way through uh, the photo, the easier it gets for PowerPoint to understand what you want to keep and what you want to remove. So here it's actually removing a little bit of the tower. And then on top here a little bit. So this doesn't need to be perfect. Um, if there's still a little bit of blue everywhere, don't worry too much. You won't see that in the final product. So this should be good enough for our showcase. And then I'm just going to hold control shift and just make it a little bit bigger so that the picture fits the whole screen. Then I'm going to right click click format background and now we want to have a gradient fill in the background now powerpoint for some reason has chosen red um, but we don't want to have red set it to linear and then have it go from red to white so from the top it's red and then it gets lighter to the bottom and now we want to have the same blue that we had before in this case I'm going to go to more colors and then this color picker tool will pop up and I'm going to choose this little bit of blue we still have from the picture and apply it here. You will see that this is maybe a little bit too grayish, but no worries. Go to more colors again and then we can move it a little bit more into something blue-ish and I want to have something like this. I think this this could look good. I think in my original video, it's a little bit darker, but let's go a little bit brighter and a little bit more happy this time. Here, we're going to choose the same color again, but then we're going to go to more colors and then change the opacity up to like 56%. So you will see it will lighter. It will get lighter. We can also increase the brightness a little bit so that we have this nice gradient effect on the background of the slide. Next up, we're going to duplicate the slide with command D and just pull this down a little bit. So we want to have parts of the Taj Mahal still visible, but having enough space to put in some text on the top. Click insert, click text box and just draw a text, text box over the whole thing. Then type in in caps Taj Mahal I don't even know how it's pronounced correctly, to be honest. I'm sorry, um, but I'm from Germany, so don't stress me on that. And I'm just going to use the text up pro on this one and make it bold and make it much, much bigger. Okay. I think we can even go up to like 90 or something. So I think this looks, 
this looks about right and I just want to have it somewhere here and in order to have a nice look on the whole presentations the colors need to work together so since we had the the bright blue background and then we have some more earthy tones on the Taj Mahal itself and also the garden we will also use some yellowish stuff here I'm just going to use yellow here and then we go to more colors again and here we can change things up because I think this this um, yellow might be a little bit too strong I wanted to have it a little bit more orangey we can even go here and choose um, the color, the predefined colors here. They even have some crayons here. So there's really unlimited here. I think this looks much better. No, it's still, still the same. Maybe we're just going to do something like this. Yes, this looks much better. It's a little bit softer. And on top, we want to have the word that you would have uh, in the original language. So I'm just going to copy that over from another presentation because I cannot have these letters in here. So you can also copy that from Wikipedia. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not educated about this, but what are these letters for? Let's like Hindi. Uh, Please, I'm, I'm probably wrong. I'm very sorry. Okay, once we have this, we're pretty much set up for the first two slides. First thing we need to do now is bring the picture to the front again so that the picture is in front of the text, as you can see. Then we are going to select these two texts and just copy them and put them on the first slide and pull them down to the bottom. Then we're going to send them to the back here so that the picture is in front again. And then just for the first two slides, we're just gonna add the morph transition and boom, that's it. There's nothing more to it. If you even want to make it a little bit more exciting, we could even go and make the text larger here. So I'm just going to make this bigger then. And when the text is larger, it will have like a zoom effect almost. We can also do the same thing for the Taj Mahal itself. So if we then hit the morph transition, it will like zoom out and zoom in at the same time. So that looks pretty cool. Now for the next slide, I'm just going to duplicate this stuff. And we are going to have the morph transition applied here as well. And we're just going to look at the minarets and the main dome and the chatris. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly here. So pull these up, pull this up. All right. And then pull this down even more. Now we have to insert these lines that look at each of the specific tower. And we're going to make these lines white. Okay, I'm just going to rinse and repeat this for the rest of the Taj Mahal. And then we will continue. Okay, you can always hold control and shift to drag something like I'm doing it right now. If you don't like this, you can just hit Command D or Control D on Windows um, to um, to duplicate and then put it where it belongs. Um, and then we just need to add the text. In this case, I will just duplicate the Taj Mahal and then I will just put the text on top. I will make it a lot smaller, uh, maybe even smaller than this. Okay, and make it smaller here like this and then what was it it was i think it was a minaret here also in caps so like this this looks this looks about right i think okay and then we're just going to duplicate that for the rest of the of the things here so that looks pretty cool boom also here on the bottom 
and I think for this demonstration, I'm just going to leave these out and then you just change up the names for each of them. Um, in the video, we also had animations on here and we're going to do these animations again. So what we will use is the fly in and the wipe um, animation on these. So the first is then here we go to animations and we will use the wipe animation. So it wipes up from where the minaret is and then the text will fly in from the top. So in order to have it flying in from the top, we can either use it and go here from the effect options and say from top, or we can also do it here in the effect options. What we also need is a little bit of a delay here. So we're going to click on delay of 0 0.25 and then also have it start with the previous. So it also starts with a straight connector here. So they played at the same time, almost just with a little delay. And then also here with previous. So this transition will play right away when you change the slide from slide two to slide three. Okay. Next up, we are going to repeat this for the rest of the text here. And then we will time each of them specifically. Um, in order to make this easier, I will click animation painter twice fast. So then it's per default activated. And then you can just apply it to the rest of the text here. Then we are going to select the connector and click the animation painter and apply this for the rest of the lines that you can see. Be careful. It's sometimes a little bit hard to hit the lines exactly. And then we can disable this again here. Um, if I drag this down now, you will see, and if I play the animation, this is not what we want. So we are going to take a look at each of them and see, ah, okay. We will have zero delay everywhere because now PowerPoint deleted the delay again. We want to go from the left to the right. And we're going to start with the left one and have a 0 0.25 delay. And then we go to the next straight connector and say, okay, but this one should come right after the left text comes in. So 0 0.5. Then we go to the text. The text should be a little bit delayed again. So 0 0.75. And then here it's one second. 1.25 seconds. And here it's 1.5 seconds. 1.75, oops, 1.75. And for the last one, it will then be two seconds and 2.2.5 seconds. If I am correct, yes. And now if I click preview, one, two, three, four, five. Perfect. This is exactly what we were looking for. Um, and then for the last transi transition, I think this one is actually probably the coolest transition we have. We are just going to make it very special. Um, so we're going to duplicate the slide again. And we want to remove the Taj Mahal on top here. And then we want to move all of this stuff up and then remove all animations because morph is not going to work if you also have the animations on this slide and not only on this slide because PowerPoint get confused and say, well, I cannot morph them because they still need to be animated afterwards. So pull the touch behind up again, right click, format background, and then put out the brightness to almost like minus 75 percent is good and also do the same thing here then we will click on the picture 
and on the picture we're going to recolor it we can either do it here or we do it here on the right side and say picture corrections and then turn on the brightness just so it looks natural I think something like this is probably fine and then we are just going to insert some cool rounded boxes where you can have in what oh, is actually wrong uh, where you can have some cool text so this one I think is pretty cool um, white fill white outline I have to fill a little bit um, transparent and what you can always do in PowerPoint is you click if you want to add text in a box and you don't know what the text is going to be but you already want to design the whole thing you can say equals lorem bracket and then the amount of paragraphs that you want of lorem ipsum I would just want to have one and close the bracket and then hit enter and it magically does it for you you don't need to do it yourself or copy it from the internet and then we are just going to hold shift and alt again or shift and control and then put them all over the slide and distribute them horizontally and you can see these are a little bit too big so just make them a little bit smaller and then just to put them on the slide before drag them out of the slide and then um, just go ahead to have a smooth animation just pull them down each each by each a little bit so then they will come up gradually I'll show you now on the transition whoop they come off each of their own okay this sums it up for the video I hope you like it I will also put the full template or the full slide deck in the description below if you are looking for more PowerPoint templates, I also have the Please Fix Super Template with over 4,000 slides. You can also use them in a professional environment. So there's a lot of charts and timelines and team slides. There's basically everything you ever asked for. And I also have a full PowerPoint course on there. Um, so make sure to check that out as well at pleasefixshop.com. It's absolutely worth it. And if you have any questions about this presentation, please ask me in the comments below or contact me directly. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for having me. And um, thank you for all the support over the past two years. It's been the absolute blast.